Hi, feller. Ow! Did I just slap you, Ollie? I'm sorry. All right, survivors, welcome back to Crashlands. And based on your response from the first video that I put up yesterday, it would seem that you guys want to see more of Crashlands. And Flux, what the heck are you doing? Jumping around like a freakazoid. What's the matter? You got ants in your pants or something? Maybe he does. Maybe that wood log armor that we put on yesterday had ants in it or something. I don't know. You want, want to check it out? No ants in there. Stop hopping around like a freak. Anyway, so we're picking up right where we left off here, guys. Although I did go out and collect a little bit more leather from those um, rhino dudes. Wampets is what they're called, I think, technically. Because I wanted to make uh, I wanted to make this right here. Womp pants. No ants in those, right? I hope not. I'm not sure what else we might find in womp pants. But maybe we'll find out. Hopefully something nice. Let's get a good surprise. Let's poke them and find out. Here we go. Love this part. Oh, we got poison resist and a poison chance and a burn chance. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah, equip it. Put them on. Wait, burn who? Not gonna burn me, are we? Huh? We'll have a fire in our pants. <laughs> that's pretty sweet. Okay, so I just got a new recipe here, guys. Oh, gosh, it's getting late already. Yeah, whip out that torch, would you? Um, in fact, let's check something out because... Where is it? I just got a new recipe that uh, our little companion here, Juice Box, told me about. Here it is, fertile dirt. You can plant seeds in it. It's so fertile and dirty. <laughs> Let's track it. We got to go out and get some of these uh, dirt piles. And apparently we have enough sawdust. All right, cool. And with this dirt, we can we can grow trees and sawgrass. So we don't have to um, keep searching around for it and go off into the middle of the night to find it. We'll have our own little renewable source of that back here. Hi, little... Oh, sorry. I have a tendency to do that, don't I? Jeez. <laughs> Squishing all the locals. I'm going to get run out of town if we keep this up, you know. Um, all right, there is one other thing I wanted to make, too. And I don't have to put this on tracking. But where's the thing I wanted? Oh, here it is. Yeah, this right here. That is a saw board. Level 2 weapon. This bad boy is 100% certified organic. And now it's ours. And yeah, we're going to see if we get any kind of enchantments on it. Oh, a vampire and a freeze. Ooh. Oh, I like this. A comparison screen. So we can see what's up. This does not cause bleed, so we're going to miss the bleed. We're going to lose the bleed, but we still have a vampire chance. It's a little bit higher. And a chance to freeze our enemies. And also a critical chance as well. So yeah, let's definitely do that. And it does uh, well far more damage per second. Great. Let's do it. So we have to go somewhere. We have to go down here to the power pole. That's our next quest. So that we can make our comm device. So why don't we do that? There's no teleportal down there. So we'll just kind of we'll walk. And in the meantime, we'll look for dirt. And I see some. I really need to upgrade my saw. Oh! <gasps> What the heck is this? That looks like a mutant sawgrass blade. Three blades instead of one. We haven't seen anything like it. I bet it's ultra rare. Uh, what can we do with it? We can make rake leaves in front of the base. <laughs> rake leaves? Don't be a fool. That hydro blade should be used for something more practical. Like a pair of gloves. <gasps> that does sound better. Yeah, it would be like Wolverine. Beep, 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 beep. Hold on. Hold on, we're getting something here. We're getting wild claws. Schematic. Oh, dude. Yeah, it is. It's like Wolverine. Hydra Blade Wood Shankers. Cool. Well, let's go do it. I probably don't have the wood for it now that I just made my this uh, spiked swordy thing. So that's pretty awesome. You find schematics in the game just by chopping and killing. I did get some other schematic. I got like a, a leather chair. It's like a beanbag chair from uh, from somewhere. I think I got it from killing a wombat. A wampet. So let's go... Maybe this was made since it's wood. Oh, here it is. Hydra Blade Wood Shankers Level 3 Legendary Gloves. Don't scratch your nose with these bad boys on. <laughs> I'll try to remember that. Hey, let's... Uh, we don't have to track that. We just need wood, basically. So we have the, um, the Hydra Blade piece. We have the leaves. We just have to find some more logs. Awesome! Oh, that's going to be swell. All right. Now, let's go back and make the uh, the dirty thing. Let's make the dirty the dirty thing. The D-U-R-T-Y. Bang! Fertile dirt. Here comes our fertile dirt. Poke it! Mom says, 
Flux, what'd you do today? I... I poked fertile dirt, Mom. Pretty awesome, right? <laughs> now, I'm assuming this is, uh... Is it a floor? Oh, it's a floor. It's a fertile dirt floor. Let's put it right here. That's nice. Right next to my little house. And there we go. Alright. And now... Now I have seeds. So... How do I do the seeds? Do I do them in the menu? In the build menu. Oh yeah, duh, right here. So we have sawgrass seeds, and we have log tree seeds. And I don't have very much fertile dirt, so why don't we just do a row? Oh, what do you mean it's blocked? Look, I'm standing on it, dang fool. We'll back it up. Let's do this. One. Shazam. So now we need more. <laughs> we need a lot more. So we're going to have to go collect more piles of dirt. Easy enough. All right. But I don't want to track that. I want to track. What do we want to track? Oh, bone floor. Check that out. That was a schematic I found as well. Really neat. All right. Well, we might as well put something on track. So why don't we do the, the claws? I need to have these. There we go. And we'll make our way over to the power pole. Let's do that while it's dark and scary. Can't wait to get my claws and try them on you. Oh, we got poisons. Let's back up and watch the poison do its thing. Squirt. Squirt. Not a lot of damage, but not too shabby. Let's knock him out. Oh, he's frozen too. Did you see that? They got the freeze effect on him. Nice. Let's grab some wood. There we go. And, oh, another schematic. How awesome is this? Oh, it's like a pillow. It is. It's a glowing pillow. <laughs> oh, fantastic. I do wish I could see the recipe from here, but I don't think I can. I have to go over to the uh, our, our base and use the proper machine. Building machine. Look at all the wampets here. Ooh. I want to try to find an egg. If you guys... See an egg, let me know, because I would like to um, capture one of these guys. Maybe you get the eggs from them as a drop. In fact, why don't we go over here where it's a little safer and bring up... Oh, not that. This. Let's bring up our data and take a look at what the Wampets drop. Drops. Leather, bone, sinew, toenail, and a heart. Intact Wampet heart. Hmm. Interesting. I don't know what that's useful for. I've never got a heart out of one of those guys yet. But clearly no eggs. So I guess the eggs are just found on the ground somewhere. So let's keep our eyes open for the eggs. Ooh, is that a big one? Is that a big wampet? I've seen a bigger wampet. Oh yeah, he's got a fatter head. Look at him. It's a wampet heif heifer. Heifer? It's a hef heifer. It's a wampet heifer. <laughs> oh, man. I don't like him. Whoa! Bigger double jump. He jumps farther, and his uh, attack radius is larger. So let's not go after him just yet. Maybe when I get my claws. I'll be back for you, you heifer. And what do you do? Oh, he shoots green goo. Hey! He just shot my robot! Can my robot die? I don't think so. Oh, look. Sun's coming up. That's nice. I'm gonna... Oh, look at this. He's got a triple shot. Triple shot. Nice. That's pretty good, buddy. But look at this. Look what I can do. Ow! Ooh, oh, he's poison resistant too. What do we get? We got chitin. We got chitin, and now I'm poisoned. I do have some poison resist, don't I? I think my um um hold on. Where's what key? I gotta get used to these keys. I think my legs give me poison resist, ten percent. I guess that just mitigates the damage, maybe. Eh, something like that. All right, I got a little sidetracked here. We still gotta get down to our power pole. So let's head on down there. I think I'll eat a bacon bit. Mmm! Delicious! And they're free. You find them all over the place. What is this? Hey, I already have a... Ch oh, it's a bag chair. A glowy bag chair. Yeah, uh, I wonder what the glow material is. Maybe something from those big glow bugs. I didn't happen to see everything that he dropped. But we'll check that out when we get back. All right, guys, we're almost there. Let me bring up the map. There it is, power pole. And look at this, we have a teleporter just a bit to the north. 
So we'll be able to get down here fast. Now, what is that little thing? It's like a mushroom or something. Let me take this guy out. Oh, dang it. I probably shouldn't take on two at once, huh? I've not met their kind yet. I don't know what they're capable of. Little squiddies. Ooh, big squiddies. Let's just avoid them for now. Let me grab this thing, though. It's a sunshroom. New compendium entry. Ooh. There's another teleporter. In fact, let us... Oh, look at that little scary guy down there. Hold on a sec. <laughs> I love these new discoveries. They're so fun. Uh, a, a glutter fly is what that other feller was that we destroyed. And he drops glow juice. I bet that glow juice is what we need for the uh, the glowy pillow and the glowy bag. Sun shroom. There it is. These shrooms love to grow in the mud and they taste salty. And they restore 149 HP. Wow. That's a ton. Considering their bacon bits do much less. Look at this. It's like a structure here, guys. Now, let me just back up. Oh, we're in a savanna. This is a, um, one of the biomes. There are three biomes in the game. I think I mentioned that in the first episode. Three biomes currently. My guess is many more will be added over time with content patches. Now, let's... Um, hold on. I did want to just give you guys a, a warning. Spoiler warning. This is the campaign. It's a story-based campaign. So, if you are worried about spoilers, you might just want to walk away. Okay? Just just walk away. Now. While you can. Um, otherwise, if you don't care about that, you just want to see what happens, then sit tight. Because um, there's going to be spoilers. <laughs> Pretty sure. Let's go see what the, our power, power pole is all about. Maybe we have to chat with this fella here. He's scary looking, but, you know, looks can be deceiving. You shouldn't judge a book by its cover. What is this? This is like his door. I'll go through the door. Hi, fella. Ow! Did I just slap you, Ollie? I'm sorry. Love to love be like a box of wumpets. This isn't nice. I'm sorry. I don't. Oh, he looks grumpy. Um, he appears to be friendly, even when I slap him. He has no response. It's a little mini grumpy guy. Hi. Why do I slap everybody? Can I just talk to them? My gosh. Lead with a fist, huh? Oh, here we go. It's Durned. Durned. Durndy. Durndy. Can you feel the power? Uh, no. The crystal calls to me. It's so shiny. For who could do -goo anything? Yes, yes. Three batteries and the crackalaka. Right. Who could do -goo? Juice box. She's talking about that jerk floaty head and also gibberish. <laughs> and also gibberish. Hey, that's the resonator I picked up with my scan. We need to get it out of here. I have a suspicion that it's Hugo's. I don't think he's going to approve. I don't care what he thinks. Flux is the only way we're going to build the comm and get, back, get the packages delivered. We've got to try something. Seriously, we're like Tom Hanks and Castaway here. All we care about is that stinking delivery. Whispers. Aye, purpley, let's talk outside. Oh, this little guy. Psst, what? You talking to me, little fella? Yeah, little fella. New quest. Brief meeting with Burl. Oh, quick, quick, quick. Why does he have three dots? Thanks for meeting me. Dern's not right in the head. I worry that Crystal does more than just talk to her. Oh, she's insane. We'd be happy to take it off your hands, little fella. And I'd be indebted to you for doing so. But I need to know you ain't evil before I swear myself to help. <laughs> Do I look evil to you? You want to pinky swear? Hold out your pinky. He has no, 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 that's a claw. Let's not do that. I mean, how do I know you ain't evil? Maybe you and that box are, are Hoogadooku in disguise. Ha! No, Hoogadooku blow up our ship, dude. Do we look like villains to you? Uh, maybe you don't look like it, but that box of yours sure dastardly looking. Hey! I resemble that comment. Good old juice box. I made it myself. Dastardly components. Well then, I suppose you ain't evil. You'd prove it. I suppose if you ain't evil, you'd, you'd prove it by doing me a favor. Yes, I can read. A favor for the crystal? Sounds fair. Well, my old home, a good distance southwest of here, has been overrun by some west nasty, some wasty nom pits. You find it, clear it out for Durned and me, and I'll consider you in that box as folks worthy of trust. Deal. Wasty nom pits are our speciality, little feller. Let's go get him. Oh, this guy has something above his head, too. He wants to chat. All right. He's a little bigger than the other feller. So he's like a, a medium-sized feller. Hello, medium-sized feller. His name is Keek Fleep. Flowery stranger, I don't suppose you could help a right feller out. 
I don't mean to be trouble, just that I lost lost my entanglement ring and I need it back. Something terrible. Entanglement ring? When Tendrum commit to one another, they ask Maria for a root ring. It's symbolic about joining the two of two lives to the roots of Mar oh that's Marla. See that Tendrum Ollie over yonder? We were out lunching and got jumped by these three enraged wumpets. Ollie ran faster than lightning, should have seen him. I, t I look more of a tumble. I took more of a tumble. When I came to, the ring was gone. Ollie wouldn't rightly trust me again until I get that ring back. We'll keep an eye out for it. Where'd you lose it? Not sure, but I ran through a patch of whistle root. It might have snagged on them and come off. New story. Cra grafting roots. Oh, let's check it out. It's a quest. Grafting roots. So I love that they keep track of this. So I don't have to. All right, well, that's great. So now we have the wild claws that we need to make. Um, and grafting roots, this is for this awesome ring. And my guess is we just have to whack a bunch of um, those whistle roots. It'll fall out eventually. And then uh, this this is the kind of the main quest for Burl. Little, little fella Burl. Nice. All right. Oh, do they have pets? Oh, they do. They're hatchlings. Hello, little hatchlings. Oh, no, they're not. They're bad hatchlings. Go, run. They were friendly until I whacked them. I hope I didn't just make a mess of things. Oh, gosh. I'm sorry. 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 Listen, fella, if you're going to keep following me, I'm just going to have to whack you with my spiked weapon here. Hmm. Yeah, let's, let's hit some sawgrass while we're here, too. He's a fast little bugger. It's hard to kill, too. I hope he wasn't a pet of somebody's. Ow! Oh, my gosh. He ripped me. I wasn't even looking at my health. Wow. Hey, Juice Box, what if I want to make a home not next to this escape pod? Well, I didn't even see that coming. That guy wrecked me. So I think we need more armor and better weaponry before we uh, take on some of the nastier denizens of this area. So we can just teleport right back down there. Rip. Let me let me go back down there and check my my gravestone. Maybe there's something there. Oh, this guy wants to chat too, but you know what? Hold hold that thought, pal. Hold those green dots. I'll be right back. Yeah, definitely need an upgraded weapon. Oh. Oh. Oh, butterscotch uh, schematic. Bureau scroll. Yeah. Butterscotch shenanigans schematic. What is this? What is this? I need a pickaxe to break that little thing. It looks like a landmine or a mace or something. All right, let's not start any more fights with the little blue squidlings because they're nasty. Even the even the hatchling kicked my butt. Oh, jeez, I walked right by. Oh, I dropped a lot of stuff. I got it back. Did not notice that. So is there a way to see the numbers? Ooh, what's this? Cutting down log trees is hard work. There must be an easier way. Oh, you could use a whistle root, re whistle root reeds and sawgrass to make a harvest bomb. But why did you tell me this like a few days ago? You had me at bomb. That was actually the last word I said. Yep, and the only one I heard. <laughs> I love explosions. Oh, great. There we go. A harvest bomb. Oh, man, that sounds delicious. Okay. Yeah, I'd like just to see a count of what I have on me currently. So if I do die, I'll be sure. Oh, who's that little fella? A spood beast. I got a spood beast. Kick flip. Isn't that exciting? I'm going to be being chased by an angry squid man. Get out of here. All right, this is this is pretty awesome. Um, should I go back in here? Because I want to... Can I take that? No. Pickaxe. I can take it with a pickaxe. I don't think... Uh, What's-his-face is going to be too happy if I do, though. Dernedy. Derned. All right, let's finish up what we came for. Let me get my this new weapon. I want these claws. And then I want to go back and figure out what we can do with all these new things that we found. Oh, man, I'm on the run. I'm on the run. I'm being attacked by a couple of wumpets here. Ow! Stop it! I have no core with... Well, now we do. What's this then? Leather throw pillow! So, did I happen to mention there's like 500 crafting recipes in this game? I'm not sure if I had said that in the last episode, but yeah. There, there is. There's 500 recipes in this game. 500. That's like half a thousand. In fact, let's get out of here. Let's go home. Wrong thing. 
There we go. Let's go back home over here, and I want to do some crafting. Let's go make a few items. All right, here we be. So, first and foremost, I want to make this claw, which is a lot of wood. But man, it's level 3 legendary, so here we go. Hopefully we get something good. Oh, it's going to take a half a minute to make. I ain't nobody got time for that. Come on. I want my blades. I don't know what happens if I leave. What happens if I close this window? Can I come back and pick it up later? I don't know. I don't want to I don't want to find out right now. I don't want to test that with my Hydra Blade wood shankers. There we go. Poke it. Here, here it comes. Here it comes. <gasps> oh! What's that say? Orange Smith achievement unlocked. Orange Smith, my first orange weapon. Shock chance, poison resist, berserk chance. Ooh, toughness, health, yada yada yada. Let's see how it compares to what I have. Hey! Hey! I'll keep an eye out for other rare stuff like this that might be useful. Good call on turning these into vicious mitts. Yes, it was a good call. Just don't scratch your face. I got it. Um, now hold up a sec there, Chief, because... Oh, they are equipped. Oh, it goes into an armor slot! Okay, it's not a weapon. It just gives me some bonus uh, chances here. So it increases my health, increases my toughness, Gives me a berserk. I get it. I get it. Very nice. I guess that makes sense. Okay. So, let's check out some of these other items that we can make, like these bombs. Harvest bombs. Chop down sawgrass, log trees, and whistle root with the power of violence. Breaks apart sawgrass, log trees, and whistle roots. Yeah, but they're very rarely ever together. Let me make a few of them. Let's make six of those. Okay. Harvest bombs. Nice. Let's try it out. Hold on. I've got to put it in my inventory here. And I don't think we do it there. Do we? Yeah, we do. Let's get rid of the space duck pies for the moment. And put our uh, bombs. Our bums in here. And that's my space bar. All right. Boom! Oh, I love it. It's super fast. Now, if only... Some of these resources grew together. <laughs> Might make it more useful. There we go. Regrowed. Regrowed. And let's put our headstones somewhere. We need like a, a, a good grave site. Let me just put them on this side for now. Bring up the build menu. Click. And poop. There we go. Rest in peace. All right, guys. So I'm just looking up our spood beast. So there he is. It's a drop from the whistle root plant, but he doesn't seem to be in any sort of recipe anywhere. But how about if we do a log nest and see if maybe we can drop him in there? I don't know. I don't know what we do with a little feller. Oh, what's this? We'll oh, grab that thing. What is it? Get it. Get it. Get it. Did it get upgraded? Oh, stuff in it. That's what that was. Okay. That's nice. So it tells you that there's something you're waiting for you. And that answers, sort of answer my, answers my question about if you walk away while your workbenches are crafting something. Now, let's go to the build mode and put down a nest. Put it right here. Got to be placed on floor. We'll put it right there under the robot. And now what do we do with it? Move it! Robot. I think maybe we put eggs or something in it. I don't have any eggs. All right, we're going to we'll, we'll ignore that for now. Well, guys, I am sorry to say, but I am out of time and I got to call it quits. Sad, but true. Got some other stuff to do. And uh, once again, I hope you guys are enjoying this and if you are, please leave a like on the video to let me know and a comment below and we'll pick up right here next time. I'll try to do this daily for a little bit, or at least every other day, depending on my schedule. But uh, we'll keep going until we run out of things to do or the interest wanes or some such. All right, that's it for now. See you next time. Bye-bye.